Hey everybody, this is example number nine for structural dynamics covering response to harmonic excitation. The problem statement that we have is an instrument package weighing 300 pounds is mounted on a train console and when the train is running and in operation the console experiences a vibration amplitude of 0.5 inches at a frequency of 40 hertz and damping effects are negligible and we need to calculate the required spring constant of the, of the mount to achieve 80% isolation. And we also need to calculate the vibration amplitude of the instrument package. So here's kind of a representative model of what we have. We have some type of instrument package here. Uh, and it's connected, to, it's connected to the console via some uh, what via a flexible mount and the stiffness of this flexible mount is what we need to find to achieve 80% uh, to achieve 80% isolation and and also this uh, console is vibrating the base is vibrating basically and we describe it mathematically as the amplitude y times sine of capital omega t so the amplitude is 0.5 let me just double check in the question. Yeah, 0 0.5 here. 0 0.5 inches. At a frequency of 40 hertz. So it's 0 0.5 times sine of capital omega t. So this capital omega is equal to 40 hertz times 2 pi in order to get it into radians per second. So we need to solve for K, and we need to uh, solve, uh, find the vibration amplitude of this instrument package. Before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. So here's their website, it's Bentley.com, and there's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, Academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you just want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our dynamics problem, the first step we're going to do is calculate the convert the excitation frequency. I guess we already did it, but we'll just do it again. Convert the excitation frequency from hertz to radians per second. Uh, so the excitation frequency, meaning the vibration frequency of the console, is 40 hertz. We multiply by 2 pi to get it into radians per second, and that's 251.327 radians per second. Next, we're going to calculate the we're going to calculate the transmissibility and the frequency ratio. So the transmissibility. The equation for transmissibility is equal to the square root of 1 plus 2 times zeta r squared divided by the square root of 1 minus r squared squared plus 2 times zeta r squared. And zeta is equal to the damping factor, and r is the frequency ratio. And so if you remember in the problem, it, we were told that the damping effects were negligible, so that means this damping factor is zero so this term will go to zero zeta zeta is zero so this term will go to zero and also this term will go to zero and so what we're left with is one divided by this one divided by the square root of one minus r squared squared and so this can further be simplified one minus r squared squared is equal to um, so 1 minus r squared, so if we have something like this, it's just going to be, we're just going to be left with what's in the parentheses. So we're just left with 1 divided by 1 minus r squared. And then we put an absolute value, uh, absolute value on this bottom term. 
because transmissibility it has to be a positive value, it can't be negative. So that's why we have this, we're showing absolute value. And so that's the right-hand side of the equation. And the left-hand side, transmissibility equals 1 minus the, the isolation that we're required. So if we go back to the problem, we, we're required to achieve 80% isolation. So that's going to be equal to 1 minus 0 0.8, which is equal to 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 equals 1 divided by the absolute value of 1 minus r squared. So now we need to solve for r. And so what we get is the, uh, the absolute value of 1 minus r squared equals 5. So r equals the square, root of, the square root of 6. Okay, so once we have this frequency ratio r, we can solve for stiffness. And we've got to play around with some equations a little bit. So the, again, the frequency ratio r is equal to the excitation frequency divided by the frequency, the natural frequency, circular natural frequency of our instrument package. And so we rearrange this equation, r times lowercase omega equals capital omega, and lowercase omega is equal to the square root of k over m. So we just plug that into the equation, so r times lowercase omega equals r times the square root of k over m equals equals uh, capital omega, the excitation frequency, or we can say the frequency of the console, the vibration frequency. We rearrange this equation and we solve for k, and so k equals m times uh, capital omega divided by the frequency ratio squared. So now we simplify it even further, and m here, the mass is equal to w over g, weight divided by gravitational acceleration. Once we have that, so here's our expression for k, w over g times the excitation frequency divided by the frequency ratio squared. So we plug in the numbers, and we get the required stiffness is equal to 8,173.56 pounds per inch. And lastly, we can calculate the steady state vibration. So this is a case of base excitation because our console is vibrating, so that serves as kind of the base of this instrument package. So here's a formula for steady state vibration when you have some type of base excitation. It's Y, which is the amplitude of the steady state vibration of the base, times the square root of 1 plus 2 times zeta r squared divided by the square root of 1 minus r squared squared plus 2 times zeta r squared. So damping is negligible, so this term and this term will go to 0. And I just wrote it out over here, so this is 0, 0. And so we get it's equal to 0 0.5 divided by 5, so the the amplitude, the steady state vibration amplitude is equal to 0 0.1 inches. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also uh, please visit the website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.